the introduction the introduction of the subject everything will be done so we are taking the unit 1 now after three classes of introduction what is uh, bwd any student raise your hand and tell me what do you mean by the word uh, bwd of course full form you will say what is the use of the subject in bwd subject what we are going to do anyone raise your hand and tell me one student only Able to hear anyone? Raise your hand and tell me. B W subject. What we can do? Sir, calculation of the load flowing on the current. Calculation of current flowing through the load. Okay, reverse huh. you have mentioned right. Calculation of current flowing through the load. Okay, very good. <laughs> and still, what we can do in B W subject? Still, we can generate magnetic energy. In B W subject, we study to generate the magnetic energy. Next, we also uh, study to generate the electricity. How to generate electricity is our today's topic. Okay, so first topic is uh, in B W. How to generate the electricity and how many types of currents we are having. Okay, so now I am going to start. Anyway, uh, voice problem or anything is there? You can raise your hand and please mention. Me, okay, so I don't know why only few people are there. Twenty students, twenty-four. Okay, right. Be ready, all of you. So, whatever the uh, theory you are visible, it is visible on the screen. You are supposed to write on uh, in your notes. Okay, right. Come. So, request everyone to. Okay. Any question is there? You can unmute and you can ask. Okay. Right. So the present is uh, attendance will be taken here. Those students who are present for the class, attendance will be taken automatically. And it counts for the final attendance, right? So first, we do start from the what is the definition of current? The flow of free electrons in a closed path in a uniform direction is called the current. Yes. Okay. When you are. Uh, uh, see, please mute uh, again. Uh, I request all the students to mute and listen. When any question is there, you just ask. Uh, unmute and ask. So, yesterday introduction we have taken. What is the definition of the current, and what is actually the word inductor? So now today's class we are going to start with what are the different types of currents. So we got DC current, which is called direct current or unidirectional current. Current. Right. 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 The current which flows only in one direction is called DC current. So now, sir, what is this DC? The word. So what we have to write in the exam. So immediately this graph, as I mentioned, the engineer's language is nothing but graphical language. So immediately, what is this current? What is this graph is explaining means the DC current. Here we have written DC current value. Another name for value is magnitude, the strength, intensity. Do not change with time. That means the current which flows only in one direction. I will tell you what is the direction. That is from positive terminal to negative terminal. Okay, the current which flows only in one direction. That is from positive terminal to negative terminal is called unidirectional current or DC current. And what is that graph? The graph is nothing but current versus time. Current is taken on y-axis. Time is taken on x-axis. And this is nothing but straight line, horizontal line. The meaning of this graph is the current value. It is not changing with respect to time. That means if the current value is three amperes, then it will be three amperes only. It will not increase or decrease. It is also called as the constant current. So yes, the current which flows only in one direction is called the unidirectional current or DC current. So from where we get this DC current, sir? You are telling the DC current. So from the batteries, bat. And remember one thing: whenever any object is constant, okay, that object generates DC current or unidirectional current. So battery is not moving; it is constant. So uh, your cell phone is also constant inside your cell phone. You are having battery. So the batteries generate the DC current. They convert chemical energy to electric energy. They generate the DC current. Now solar panels. 
so when we place the solar panels the sunlight energy is converted into electric energy that means they also generate the dc current so what is the nature now i'll try to play this animation now so that it is visible okay any one student unmute and tell me animation is visible now yes yes sir okay, yes. Right, right. Yes, sir. right okay one should that's okay whenever you are speaking uh, raise your hand and speak one student take initiative okay because i am not using the other phone to check this slides today right now what is dc current definition will be asked the current which flows only in one direction is called the dc current so from where we get the dc current from the batteries and from the solar cells or solar panels so solar panels convert the sunlight energy into electric energy and dc current the third animation you can see which current the current always flows from positive terminal to negative terminal and that graph you are supposed to draw every time okay so this is the first dc current what is the disadvantage of dc current but our unit name is what anyone raise your hand and tell me what is our unit name ac current actually ac current ac ac current ac fundamentals or ac current we so now i am telling you one day one student has asked sir share the syllabus i will plan accordingly so first unit is ac current all students remember unit 1 is ac current unit 2 is dc current i request all the students to mute please mute kamala shravya right okay so the second unit is dc current what is dc current how to study but i want to take the introduction here so that's why we have taken so dc current flows only in one direction and it is obtained from the batteries solar panels okay where any object which is constant it generates the dc current now one more thing a uh, dc current disadvantage is dc current cannot be transmitted for long distance and remember this point so uh, for long distance if i want to transfer the power dc current cannot be transmitted dc current is transmitted only for the short distance remember this one okay so what are the definition you have write you must write this second line and this third line dc current value or magnitude does not change or do not change with time and this is the simple graph okay so what are the sources of dc current so you must write dc current is generated by batteries and the solar panel or solar cell solar cell and battery generate the dc current that's enough okay now let us go back to the our main topic of today's class is the ac current all of you in your house in the switch boards okay you are getting the ac current so what is this word called ac alternating alternating is changing alternating means it is changing it is varying okay continuously changing the meaning is the value of ac current is not constant it always changes with the time the value of ac current is not constant it always changes with time now this is very important so uh, this symbol also we'll see that animation so first you have seen the dc current dc current means it is one horizontal line uh, with respect to time so in in our subject define dc current means first you have to draw the graph examiner will see the graph only so dc current is constant it is not changing with time but what about the ac current so ac current uh, another name of ac current is all of you remember bidirectional bi bi means two way okay bidirectional now tell me all of you what is another name for dc current anyone tell me another name for dc directional so what i am saying is you raise your hand you answer one student okay what is a, another name for dc current dc or uh, raise your unidirectional unidirectional okay 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 now so unidirectional means the current flows only in one direction okay please mute everyone now ac current we are using sir why you are calling the name as alternating the real name of alternating current is bidirectional so i'll just writing here so the name is nothing but bidirectional current so sir why you are calling this as bidirectional current because here you have written the definition the current which flows in two different directions 
the current which flows in two different directions and always changes with time is called ac current or another name is nothing but or bidirectional current remember this one this definition will be asked so what is the uh, explanation is the current which flows in two different directions you can see the graph here so i will play the animation now okay you can see slowly you see all of you okay each word you are going to understand so whenever we say the word current the same explanation is given for the voltage so immediately you have to draw this graph all of you okay so the what is ac current or ac voltage okay first we understand with the currents okay so alternating means what any object if it is changing with respect to time so my voice signal my voice is changing with respect to time it is not constant it might increase and it might decrease so what all the engineers are saying the current uh, yes sada you have raised hand any question Sir, your voice is not clear. Voice is not clear. Okay. Yes, sir, sir. Why is speak loudly. I am speak. Oh, one second. It is signal problem, I think maybe. One second. You just move away from the television. You are your television sound is coming into this one. You just be in a lonely place. Understood. And all the students, I request you please keep your microphone. Okay, not with the loudspeaker. Okay. you please be in a lonely place and different place and see that uh, no disturbance is created for you okay right now so i'll try my level best here by changing the settings also here one second okay the current which flows in two different directions and always changes with time is called ac current okay uh, right so one student confirm raise your hand it is okay it is somewhat audible i request all the students to have the microphone uh, headphone all uh, right anyone tell me yes, yes sir okay right good so if you are playing any uh, device nearby you it is not audible audio sound will be disconnected okay please see that you are at uh, lonely place okay right okay now the current which flows in a in two different directions and always changes with time is called ac current or bidirectional sir what is this graph why i have to draw this graph so ac current so uh, you are now practical example i am telling you uh, cell phones when cell phones when two cell phones are communicating with each other what is the current generated the current is ac current only so from one cell phone to another cell phone so the current which flows in one direction that means this current starts from the zero increases to maximum value and then come back to the zero and flows in opposite direction increases to the maximum value and then again come back to the zero so this is the zero point so the current which flows in one direction and then flows in opposite direction or another direction is called ac current sir what is this why where it is present ac current where it is present show me practically who invented dc current means we are getting from the batteries okay ac current from where we are getting remember all of you ac current is explained by faraday's law of electromagnetic induction Fa yes anyone tell me voice is breaking down your voice is breaking okay 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 so we Okay, let us continue. Uh, I'll check with this one technical team. Okay, what's happening here? Okay. Okay, now it's okay. Okay, now okay. just go on with the slides. Whatever it is there. Okay, the voice problem will be rectified automatically. Right. Now, so AC current. Who has explained this AC current? So you can see at the animation, it starts from origin, it increases, and then comes back to the zero. and then goes back to this particular increases in opposite direction and comes to the rest point so the current which flows in two different directions and always changes with time is called the ac current or bidirectional current now you see all of you how we invent this current okay now everyone now this is what this explanation this notes you must have with you okay so voice technical problem will be rectified now if people are certain people are getting this one i'll continue 
just listen and go through this slide one student please confirm animation is is playing down now the new animation the new slide bulb bulb is turning on that yes, animation sir. yes sir. okay right all of you so now i am saying our unit is alternating current another name for alternating current is bidirectional okay shravya any question okay now this current everywhere in our house we get the ac current in our switch boards which current we are getting alternating current or bidirectional current or short form is ac current okay everywhere we are getting the ac currents so ac currents advantage is nothing but ac currents can be transmitted for long distance ac currents can be transmitted for long distance so how to generate this ac current so today onwards after listening this class you can uh, create you can generate your own ac current okay so all of you see so who has explained this process how to generate the ac current uh, faraday's law of electromagnetic induction faraday has introduced to the world this particular process we are having from 9th to 10th class also but here you see the practical explanation so first topic this is the notes you are supposed to write for the uh, define ac current uh, what is the definition of ac current the current which flows in two different directions is called bidirectional current or ac current and this particular uh, explanation we have to continue how we generate the ac current so what faraday has explained generator so generator is the machine which generates the current ac current okay generator generates ac current so in order to generate this ac current what we require first what faraday has mentioned as it is you have tried in the exam also magnets dash static dash theta okay so first for faraday what he has mentioned we require the magnets and we require the conductor conductor means copper rod you can see this rectangular shape so your voice voice is breaking down okay okay i think i request to the technical team all of you just okay voice breaking down we'll rectify that one So I request you, uh, every student to go through this uh, uh, words here. So uh, simple. So for time being, okay. So electric current. So we require the magnets. We require the magnets. One second, let me check. Okay. So we require the what Faraday has mentioned in order to generate electricity. First, you take the magnets. One second, I'll just. Now we'll check with the voice also. Huh? Right. What Faraday has mentioned: first, to generate electricity, we require magnets. so energy cannot be created but it can be converted so we require magnetic energy or magnet and then we require the conductor so what are the two objects i have to take i have to take the magnets okay north pole and south pole you can see and then we have to take the uh, conductor which is nothing but copper material and always magnets are static magnets are supposed to be placed static they are not supposed to move and conductor has to be rotated a conductor has to be rotated continuously to generate the electricity so the magnets which are static are called stator so magnets which are static are called stator and the conductor which is rotating it is called rotor so all the students you must remember one concept called relative motion what is relative motion if you are having two objects a and b relative motion says that in order to convert one form of energy to another form one object has to be fixed and another object has to be rotated so then only so law of conservation of energy says that energy cannot be created but can be converted from one form to another form so how to convert the energy to from one form to another form you have to use a concept called relative motion so how to generate alternating current in order to generate the alternating current we require magnets we require conductor and we are supposed to create a concept called relative motion between magnets and conductor so one simple example i am saying what is relative motion let us say you are having your house and you are 
supposed to reach your college okay you are coming to the college through bus anyone tell me uh, house and college are constant and bus is only moving so what happens if i maintain all the three constant college house bus can you reach the college no so and even if you are hmm. so and even if you are thinking that college house and bus is also moving then what's going to happen we cannot reach our destination therefore relative motion says that if two objects are present out of one object one object should be constant another object should be rotating continuously let us take the example of the milk you are adding the sugar to the milk okay so what you are going to do you are going to just take a spoon and you are going to rotate that particular milk but you are not going to rotate the entire glass so glass is constant and the milk with the spoon is rotating okay so we say in order to generate electricity we require magnets which are acting as static and which are called as stator and conductor which is rotating and which is acting as a rotor so all anyone should now raise your hand and tell me in order to generate electricity what we require we require magnets conductor and relative motion between magnets and conductor what is relative motion here always magnets are maintained constant and another one is rotating conductor yes raya go ahead yes in order to generate electricity what we require magnets and conductors magnets conductors and third one is what third one relative motion relative motion relative motion right right so every student you must write as it is after writing the definition okay so generator works on this generator generates electric uh, electricity ac current generator works on the principle of electromagnetic induction electro sir why you are calling electro it means electric energy converted to magnetic energy magnetic energy again converted to electric energy the word called induction we will discuss that word now all the students be ready so what diagram you have to draw i'll explain but first imagine follow this animation you have to take two magnets okay conductor is taken okay we have taken the conductor now bulb is connected to the conductor through the wire this is the wire okay every student mute yourself please mute yourself sir tell again sir ah uh, yes I'll, i will repeat number of times no need to worry tomorrow's class also will do uh, please mute right any question is there openly you can unmute and you can ask if you are not following also so to generate electricity what faraday has mentioned first take magnets north pole and south pole okay between north pole and south pole magnetic energy is present okay and take the conductor conductor is taken and conductor should be placed in the presence of magnetic energy okay conductor is placed but what is relative motion when you are having two when you are having two objects okay one object should be rotating so to generate electricity conductor should be rotated continuously so this conductor has to be rotated so now we start the answer what is working principle you follow this lens whenever a conductor means copper rod okay in rectangular shape or any shape whenever a conductor is rotated it should not be just placed it should be rotated in the presence of magnetic field so magnetic a field or magnetic energy the difference i will take in the next class the field and energy you can write magnetic energy also whenever a conductor is rotated in the presence of magnetic field that conductor cuts so it is cutting the magnetic lines of force between north and south pole we cannot see the magnetic lines of force always magnetic energy or magnetic lines of force travel from north pole to south pole so according to faraday's law so how to generate electricity take a conductor rotate that conductor in the presence of magnetic energy between north and south pole whenever a conductor is rotated that conductor cuts magnetic lines of force between north and south pole okay south poles now according to faraday's law there is a relative motion between rotating conductor because conductor is rotating and magnets are constant stationary magnets as a result current current that means electricity generated means current flows through the conductor automatically if a conductor is connected to a load load means any object which takes the electric current then the load is on the bulb is on so this is the explanation you are supposed to give so what how to generate electricity 
we require magnets conductor magnets are constant or static and conductor is rotating so the technical name is stator magnets are acting as stator conductor is acting as rotor and we should create a concept to relative motion between magnets and conductor so in order to generate electricity we require a conductor magnets north and south pole always magnets are constant and conductor is rotating so how do you generate electricity explain the working principle side heading so whenever a conductor is rotated in the presence of magnetic field that conductor cuts magnetic lines of force as a result current flows through the conductor if the current flows through the conductor if a load is connected to the conductor then the load is on here we have taken the bulb now we are generating Hello, electricity. I see break. yes yes so that's what technical problem is there you just uh, go through this material the voice if it comes down low we are working on that one the team please cooperate for the class those so who are getting you repeat again working principle yes 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 i'll repeat come again sir ah uh, yes yes so all of you simultaneously you see this line this is the answer so we have taken your conductor so whenever a conductor is rotated you can see this one we are rotating here whenever a conductor is rotated in the presence of magnetic field or magnetic energy which is present between north and south pole yes priyanka go ahead raise your hand okay whenever a conductor is rotated in the presence of magnetic field that conductor so this conductor cuts magnetic lines of force between north and south poles according to faraday's law there is a relative motion because one object is moving one object is constant there is a relative motion between rotating conductor and stationary magnets as a result current flows through the conductor if the conductor is connected to the bulb then the bulb is on so now i am repeating here to generate electricity we require magnets magnets are constant they are uh, static or they are acting as stator conductor is rotating it is nothing but the rotor okay so in order to generate electricity we require magnets magnets are static conductor is rotating and relative motion between conductor and magnet or between magnets and conductor so what is the answer now how to explain how the electricity will be generated whenever a conductor is rotated in the presence of magnetic energy that conductor cuts magnetic lines of force as a result current flows through the conductor okay this dots are nothing but current flowing current flows through the conductor if a load is connected to the conductor that load is turned on anyone can give the answer raise your hand and tell me the meaning in your own words own words we have to write in the exam how to generate electricity we require conductor we require magnets conductor is rotating magnets is constant whenever a conductor is rotated that conductor cuts magnetic energy between north and south pole as a result according to faraday's law there is a relative motion between rotating conductor and stationary magnets whenever a conductor cuts now in simple language whenever a conductor is rotated that conductor cuts magnetic energy as a result current flows through the conductor that's enough whenever a conductor is rotated that conductor cuts magnetic energy as a result current flows through the conductor these three words are also sufficient any one student who is ready to give explanation raise your hand and give tell me how to generate the ac current so what i will do i'll repeat the topic for the next class also no need to worry because today voice problem is there technically so same concept will be taken once again but any one student so how to generate uh, uh, right bagya sri come on go ahead when when a conductor uh, so first of all to generate a ac current we have to know uh, we have that magnets and conductor and the relative uh, relative motion between magnets and conductor when a conductor rotating between the magnetic field it cuts the it cuts the magnetic energy and it can generate uh, current to a uh, to the load which it uh, which is which it is connected to a load very good very good in the load 
that means the bulb is on on very good we can connect the fan also any uh, one more student raise the hand you can also give yes lalita you can give the answer come on whenever conductor is rotated in the prism magnetic field conductor cuts magnetic lines from pole to south to pole and the conductor rotates in presence of magnetic stationary magnets then conductor is connected to a bulb can on okay. the load load is on okay so this lines you can say so uh, in order to generate electricity we require magnets conductor conductor is uh, rotating so it is called as rotor and magnets are nothing but static they are called the stator so this explanation so rotate this one now my question anyone now you listen the question and answer me so you, how to rotate the conductor anyone tell me think and tell me how to rotate Ro conductor will rotate automatically no how to rotate this conductor bulb Ro i want to see in the animation you are seeing conductor is rotated how to how to rotate this conductor with help of hand we can rotate no? all of you agree with me with help no, no, no. Oh, if you no. yes if you rotate with your hand when current flows with through current, the current uh, wait wait if you rotate the generator wait 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 if you rotate the conductor with your hand what happens when conductor is generating electricity that current flows through your body also you will get the shock so how to rotate this conductor okay is the question all of you i am telling you cycle wheel is there in all of you cycle wheel cycle wheel can be connected to this conductor and whenever you are doing the cycling so the when cycle wheel rotates the conductor rotates and electricity is generated this is one example okay think for different examples how to rotate this conductor so i am showing one animation here all of you so all of you might have heard the name nagarjun sagar dam sri salam dam yes sir all of you so we yes, can sir. now new animation is playing or not one student confirm me yes sir okay great yes, so we construct the dams yes, to sir. generate electricity we construct the dam to generate electricity so outer uh, outer view is nothing but you are able to see certain dam gates and water okay but you see the second animation figure here all of you we store the water at certain height Anna, Anna. yes please mute please mute we store the water at certain height when water is stored at certain height potential energy pe is equal to mgh so all of you how to rotate the conductor all of you you might have seen the generator word here you see all of you second animation generator yes, generator means we are, this is the conductors the circle one is nothing but the conductor so we we construct the dam and we store the water at certain height and inside the dam we are having certain pipe please mute everyone we are having the pipe this pipe is large diameter pipe called pen stock pen stock so this water with high velocity with high pressure it flows through this particular pen stock okay and then this water is going to hit one particular wheel circular wheel which is called a turbine another name of turbine is nothing but wheel just like a cycle wheel you are going to see bullet cart wheel so when water hits this particular wheel the wheel starts to rotate and wheel is connected to the conductor wheel is connected to the conductor then conductor uh, conductor rotates when conductor rotates it cuts magnetic energy and finally electricity is generated you can see the wires here okay so in this process we generate practically in nagarjun sagar dam as well as this sri salam dam so water is stored so this is called the power plant for idle so how we are getting electricity to our house anyone know so in uh, sri salam dam and nagarjun sagar dam we are constructing the yes this particular dam and we store the water and water when water flows through the pen stock with high pressure that particular water hits the turbine which is a wheel and wheel starts to rotate when wheel rotates conductor also rotates as a result electricity is generated no need to explain this diagram all of you for your understanding i have taken this animation you are supposed to explain what you have seen in the previous slide
okay all the students for today's class we have taken the generation of electricity okay we continue in the next class only last two minutes we left right any question is there anyone can go ahead with the question sir till now what had happened we have to uh, make notes okay you can take the screenshot of that particular slide which was shared with you Hello. how to generate the electricity that we have to write in notes sir yes yes we have to fill up our notes and we we'll... yes sure. okay sir okay great I'm sure you you told yesterday to you will share the notes in the group. Okay, I'll share that one. I'll share. Okay. In PDF, sir. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, sir.